Accurate and reproducible measurement of SO2 is an important duty of the winery lab. SO2 protects wine from some forms of microbial spoilage and binds to products such as acetaldehyde and to phenolic compounds to prevent their oxidation. Therefore, SO2 acts as an antimicrobial and an antioxidant for our wines. Too much SO2 can impact aging undesirably, reduce fruit aromas, and negatively impact the sensory profile of the wine. Equipment and supplies needed for this analysis include aeration oxidation apparatus with a flow meter, a vacuum pump, a 10 ml burette, a 10 ml serological pipette, a 20 ml volumetric pipette, pipette safety bulb, safety glasses or goggles, and safety gloves. Reagents 1% hydrogen peroxide solution, SO2 indicator, 0.01 normalized sodium hydroxide or NaOH, 25% phosphoric acid. Combine 3 ml of 30% hydrogen peroxide into a 100 ml volumetric container and fill with DI water to create 100 ml of a 1% hydrogen peroxide solution. This solution must be pH adjusted to pH 5.5 to 6.0. The solution can be stored for up to one week if sealed and refrigerated. The solution should be warmed to room temperature before running your analysis. Any solution not stored in its original container should be marked with the following. The name and concentration of the solution or material, date placed into the container, and the initials of the person creating the label. SO2 exists in solution as dissolved SO2 gas, as bisulfate ion, and as sulfite ion. All of these forms together make up free SO2. SO2 bound to aldehydes, phenols, and other wine components is called bound SO2. The summation of free SO2 plus bound SO2 is what we call total SO2. We'll cover the process for measuring free and bound SO2 for a combined total SO2. To analyze a wine or juice sample for free SO2 using the aeration oxidation method, fill the impinger tube to the 10 ml mark with 1% hydrogen peroxide solution. Make sure the solution and the sample are at the same temperature. Add three drops of the SO2 indicator. The liquid should change to a gray-green color. Secure the impinger tube onto the apparatus with the impinger tube fully seated and the spring holders attached to the glass ears. Pipette 20 ml of your sample into the 100 ml round bottom flask. This sample should be pulled as close to the time of analysis as possible for the most accurate results. Then pipette 10 ml of the 25% phosphoric acid into the flask with the sample. Insert the bubbler and stopper into the flask. Connect the flask to the AO apparatus. Turn on the vacuum pump and set the timer to 10 minutes. Aspirate for 10 minutes at a 1 liter per minute flow rate. The dial timer will turn off the vacuum after 10 minutes. Release the vacuum by loosening the impinger tube. Blow out any drops left in the impinger by using the safety bulb on the flask bubbler tube to clear the impinger tip into the impinger tube. Titrate the hydrogen peroxide solution with 0.01 normalized sodium hydroxide back to the start point gray-green color. Be sure to make note of the start and end points in milliliters on the titration burette. Record the value. To calculate the free SO2 in the sample, multiply the concentration of sodium hydroxide, in this case 0.01, times the mLs dispensed from the burette 
and multiply the result by 1600. The result will be the free SO2 in parts per million. In order to obtain a total SO2 value, a bound SO2 value is needed in addition to the free SO2 value just obtained. Using the same sample already in the round bottom flask, assemble the apparatus. This time you'll need to route the cooling water for the condenser through the ice bath heat exchanger. Then connect the round bottom flask to the condenser and adjust the apparatus stand so that the bottom of the round bottom flask is seated into the heating mantle. Prepare a second impinger tube filled to the 10 ml mark with a 1% hydrogen peroxide solution. Add three drops of SO2 indicator. The liquid should change to the gray-green color. Secure the impinger tube onto the apparatus with the impinger tube fully seated in the spring holders attached to the glass ears. Apply power to the heating mantle. When the solution starts to boil, turn on the vacuum pump and set the timer to 15 minutes. Aspirate for 15 minutes at a 1 liter per minute flow rate. The dial timer will turn off the vacuum after 15 minutes. Release vacuum by loosening the impinger tube. Blow out any drops left in the impinger tip using a safety bulb on the flask bubbler tube to clear the impinger tip into the impinger tube. Titrate the hydrogen peroxide solution with a 0.01 normalized sodium hydroxide back to the start point gray-green color. Be sure to make note of the start and end points in mLs on the titration burette. Record the value. To calculate the bound SO2 in the sample, multiply the concentration of sodium hydroxide, in this case 0.01, times the mLs dispensed from the burette and multiply the result by 1600. Add the free SO2 value from the first impinger to the bound SO2 value from the second impinger to obtain the total SO2 level. The result will be total SO2 in parts per million. After completing the sample analysis, the hydrogen peroxide solution in the impinger tube may be disposed of in the sink. Add 5 ml of color safe neutralizer to the phosphoric acid sample and take it to greater than pH 3 and dispose with water in the sink. Clean all labware with lab cleaner and rinse with DI water. Dispose of all juice samples to prevent insect infiltration into the winery and lab. To learn more about the Vineyard and Winery Technology Program offered at Yakima Valley Community College, visit us online at www.yvcc.edu wine. This material is based upon work supported by the National Science Foundation under grant number 1003721. Any opinions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this material are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the National Science Foundation.